plastic. We take, make, use, throw, and our beaches, forests, wildlife pay the price. But there's another way. We are bringing together businesses, the government, policymakers, NGOs, all united under a common vision to create a circular economy for plastic. A country where plastic never becomes waste. We can continue to use them, but they continue to be innovated and made into products that keep being used and so we keep them away. But also get rid of plastics that we don't need and those that we need, we continue to recycle. From the household level, how you separate your waste and make sure that that waste I end up for landfill matter. How a company that you make sure that your product after you do the production, you end up a consumer, and eventually, of course, you go back to where it should go, to the hands of recyclers, that matters. Together, we can eliminate the plastics we don't need, innovate so the plastics we need are reusable, recyclable, and circulate the plastics to keep them in the economy and out of the environment. I see our role of Kepro as being uh, much more focused on implementation of the PRO and the Extended Producer Responsibility Scheme on the ground. Right? Uh, we can bring members into the organization. Members know exactly where their money is being spent. We go on the ground to recyclers, collectors and sorters and provide them that subsidy support. But we can't do this without policy change, national behavior change, hearts and minds have to be one, international partners have to be brought in. That is where KPP, the Kenya Plastic Pack, can play a massive role. KPP has got the international support of the Ellen MacArthur Foundation and Kepro basically is right here on the ground, in the trenches, taking waste out of the environment. So we, we fit really well together. Let's ditch our throwaway culture and create a smarter, cleaner, and a circular economy for plastic. The reason why we must ensure that we have circularity in the economy is so that we are able to conserve the environment and also regenerate the natural resources that we require for, for future. Businesses cannot succeed in failing societies or environments that do not thrive. Together, we can inspire others to do the same. Kenya has already embarked on the journey, but we need to go further. We need to look into being more innovative in regard to how we dispose uh, the waste coming out of our outlets, how we uh, engage with our consumers in terms of how we are packaging for them, engaging with our manufacturers in regard to how we are packaging the goods that we are getting from the manufacturer to ensure that there is reduced use of, of primary resources from the, the environment and ensuring that as we go forward we are becoming more sustainable in everything that comes into our outlets and leaves our outlets. The Kenya Plastic Pact is that particular other approach that will engage the single, uh, will engage the private sector, and again show them that they are part of the conversation. We're not enemies here. We're working towards the same goals. What I've done and encourage all the private sector is to join the Kenya Plastic Pact. Uh, we will help you to understand what you need to do with your companies, what you need to do with your products, and how you can also start new businesses. Join us. Sign up to the Kenya Plastics Pact and together we can unite and change the story. We can make a difference.